Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe stop and chop technique of fecal emulsification through this video. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Then a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Width of this side port is about 1.8 millimeter so that a 23 gauze Simco can easily go in. Only one side port has been made. And now capsulorexis is done with the help of this iterata forceps. Size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter. Now, hydro dissection is done with 27 gauze cannula and BSS. Fluid is injected just under the, underneath the anterior capsular rim. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. And now, the anterior chamber is again filled up with 2% HBMC. And now, the setting is vacuum. 80 millimeter of mercury, flow rate 25 ml per minute and ultrasonic energy 60 percent. The FECO needle goes in, goes in bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up and we are ready to do sculpting. Only one trench will be made and here it goes through the center from 11 o'clock go to 5 o'clock. You must not touch the rexis margin and only the central part will be deepened. No need to go to extreme periphery when the cataract is so soft, turn 180 degree and do some more sculpting on the other side and then deepen the at the central part. Yes, now we have some faint red glow and head goes. The nucleus is divided into two heminuclei. And now how to hold this heminucleus? We must not try to hold the superficial part that is the upper part. Don't try to hold it here. We will go at the middle part and hold the middle part and chop it. We must apply adequate vacuum. We must not apply too much vacuum. That means since the foot switch is linear, we must train our foot to go to optimum down so that the vacuum created is optimum. One heminucleus has been managed. Now go to the other side. At this time the vacuum is 350 millimeter of mercury, flow rate is 35 ml per minute and ultrasonic energy is same 60 percent. And here it goes. This is the last piece. At this time we can reduce the vacuum to about 150 and flow rate about 25 and we can do a very safe surgery by the stomp and chop technique. At this time the chopper has been removed so that followability of the pieces increases. Now there are some small nuclear pieces which is at the side port. How to remove that? Inject some visco so that it goes in the anterior chamber and now we, we will use the Simco cannula to remove these pieces through the main wound. Here it is. Just here it, one piece comes, then other two pieces, yes, all the pieces are removed. And now we go to remove the cortex. 
through the main wound, we have removed cortex from about 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock. And now go through the side port and remove the cortex, rest of the cortex from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. The side port is a bit large, but it is 3 clock hours away from the main wound. So, astigmatism produced by the main wound will be neutralized to some extent by the side port. The posterior capsule is polished by only the irrigating probe. And now we are ready to implant an intraocular lens. In this case, we are implanting a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal lens with the help of this B cartridge. Head goes. The left hand instrument just depresses the haptic optic junction and the lens goes into the capsular bag. Most of the time, we do not need a Sinsky hook, we do not need a dialer to place the lens in the capsular bag. One haptic is stuck to the optic, but it will release very soon. Yes, it is got released. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma and now a final lavage. At this time, a gentle stream of BSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium and visco sticking to the corneal endothelium gets detached, gets released. The lens is placed nicely, the antechamber is formed nicely and now integrity of all the wounds are checked with the help of a cotton taped Janssen bud. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you to learn the stop and chop technique of fecal emulsification. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.